as we have said, we have separated the financial activity from the discipline activity. So let's spend a moment and look at the financial activity and what you can do online. You would want to pay any of the invoices that you may have online, you will receive them online, and you can pay them in all or part online. How often do you get the invoices? There is a default that clubs will receive invoices on a weekly basis, like any business. Sometimes businesses will offer their customers the opportunity to have longer terms. So it may be that the way your club is run, that you may wish to negotiate with the county FA the possibility of receiving invoices over a longer period, maybe monthly, maybe three monthly. That is a matter for the county FA to determine with their customers, you, the clubs. You will receive receipts once you have made payment, again, automatically. Let's have a look at the basic financial functionality. In this session, I want to pay an invoice. Remember, we have separated the invoicing process, the financial implications, from the discipline process. To pay an invoice, I simply select which invoice I wish to pay on the home screen by selecting the icon Tick to Pay. Having selected the item that I wish to pay, and I can select more than one, I would then select Pay at the bottom of the screen. This will then take me to the Secure Payment page. Here you would enter your details as you would at any other stage when you are paying for things online. I would enter the card number, of course my name, the card expiry date, and the three digit security code on the back of the card, and select pay. Once payment has been confirmed, I will receive a receipt. Finally, let's consider some of the other areas of the system. How do we deal with non-replies? Whilst we have separated the disciplinary functionality from the financial functionality, you still have a responsibility of a club secretary, whether it's online or in the manual process, to respond to the paperwork. They are separated as well. So if you fail to acknowledge a caution or a sending off, or if you fail to pay an invoice, you could be subject to a late fine. The system for the online clubs will do its best to remind you before we get to the stage of you being fined. A key element is that you have access to live data. You will be able to see the activity of your players, whether they're playing for your club or whether they are playing for another club and have got themselves suspended but have not notified you of that suspension. Providing you as club secretaries ensure that your player maintenance is kept up to date, you will see the access to that data. Of course, this is just the start of a new system, one that we wish to continually develop that will meet the demands of club secretaries. In order to do that, we will rely on your feedback on how you believe the system operates and maybe how it could be enhanced. Please do not be frightened of raising your observations directly to the County Football Association, who in turn will pass those on to the Football Association. We have today concentrated on the activity within the system from you as a secretary, but you have other officers within the clubs. You also have players. Other officers can be given access to the system on a read-only basis, and should you as secretary wish to grant it, you can give them access to respond to some of the disciplinary functionality. That is a matter for you. Players can also have access to the system, and as time moves forward, players will be able to respond to their own cases, to be able to pay for the cases without the need for the secretary to do it. You will be able to monitor that as it happens. We hope you find the system useful. Should you have any feedback, please do not hesitate to let us have it. Thank you for your time.